So what if we give AI the hardest physics competition in the world? How would it rank? Will it ace it or will it just score less than a mark? These problems involve quite a lot of original thinking and a fantastic understanding of the physics to be able to solve them. This problem actually starts by explaining what dimensional analysis is and giving some examples which I think might actually show the AI exactly what to do. For 0.8 points is to find the dimensions of the fundamental constants. So I'm going to paste the entire paragraph in with all the information and let's let it calculate. Look at that, it's got them correct. That did not take a very long time. Next, we need to determine the dimensions of the Stefan Boltzmann's constant. This is not the correct answer. As you can see, the dimensions are given by the dimensions of mass times t to the negative three, k to the negative four. Would I be able to coach it to get the correct answer? So what if I write, can you write out an equation for Stefan Boltzmann's constant and then write out its dimensions in terms of length, mass, time and temperature. Still giving us the wrong answer, however, I am determined to coach it through this problem. So how about if we were to write that power over area is equal to sigma for the constant multiplied by temperature to the power of four. Ah, oh, wrong again. I think I'm gonna need to check it's working out. Can you show me your working out? It's funny, I'm actually feeling like I'm almost teaching a real person here. And look at this, it's forgotten to cancel a factor of L squared just like a real person sometimes. You have forgotten to cancel out a factor of L squared. So let's see its corrections. Giving us M multiplied by L to the zero, which is one, that's correct. T to the negative three, K to the negative four. That is absolutely correct. The next problem is pretty difficult. This problem took me a while to film and solve a few years ago. It involves a complicated system of equations to solve for the unknowns. So I'm really curious on how it's going to handle this. Here's the moment of truth. Okay, it's solving. I like how it's giving me out the equation. So using dimensional analysis, we need to make sure that the dimensions are equal on both sides. It's setting up the equation seemingly correct. It's typing so fast that I can't actually be checking for its work. It's gotten all of them wrong, I'm afraid. So I have actually found the mistake that the AI has done. If we look over here, what the AI has done is not raised the mass to the power of sigma. I'm gonna say you wrote quotations. However, in the last term, you forgot to raise m to the power of sigma. Try the question again please. And now it's just doing something completely different. I think I'm going to try copying and pasting the question again to see if we get a different answer. Okay, let's have a look. Wrong yet again. Oh, this is getting frustrating. I'm going to ask it to show me it's working out yet again. Okay, so far so good. And it's not actually included the final answer. Okay, I think I give up. I'm not sure if I could coach it to solve this system of equations. So it seems to do really well with some of the more basic problems. However, as soon as we throw a really complicated expression, it could get the idea on how to tackle it, but it could not actually execute it anywhere near well enough to be able to score any points on this. Now, just for fun, let's see how it's going to handle some of the calculus-based problems on this exam. Can the AI derive the Hawking temperature of a black hole? So we're telling it to use E is equal to mc squared and the laws of thermodynamics to express the Hawking temperature of a black hole. This is a really hard problem. It needs to use the first law of thermodynamics and also the definition of entropy. Okay, so so far it's using the first law of thermodynamics. It's setting the change of energy equal to mc squared. Oh, really interesting. Now it's gonna need to take those delta s's to the limit and uh, make them really, really small and then involve calculus. This is really interesting. I can't quite 
follow its work exactly. It's gotten some terms correct. I'm not 100% sure what it's done over here, but it's expressed the Hawking temperature in terms of the area of the black hole. So what I've done here is I've expressed the area in terms of the entropy and the fundamental constants to try and give it some hint and see if we can actually check that answer. So let's see how it does. Okay, now we're talking. So we have H multiplied by C cubed and then is divided by 8 pi GK and then the mass of the black hole. I'm not sure whether um, it um, actually knows this expression and it's uh, kind of inputted uh, that in, but I'm tempted to give it half the marks maybe for this one. So I'm afraid the AI has not done well at all with the International Physics Olympiad, but how will it handle some way easier physics questions. Well, watch this video right over here to find that out.